Hi, this is Trey Pass, and welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning December 27th, 2015. This will be my last um, Blu-ray update for the <laughs> for uh, this year, uh, 2015. And I got nothing from Best Buy. I got everything from uh, Barnes & Noble. They had the 50% off sale. Uh, still going on, I think, the Christmas Eve, I think it was the last day. Plus, I had a 30% off coupon, so I used that one as well. Okay, uh, got a few titles, seven titles here. And uh, I like monster movies, and I love old Hollywood uh, movies, and I got two of those right here. And this one is The Son of Kong, of course, the sequel to King Kong. Okay, and star the same cast, except I think Frey Ray is not in this one, of course, but Robert Armstrong is in this as well. And it's a really, you know, I remember seeing this a long time ago, and that was pretty good. I saw it, I can't believe that was on Blu ray, but it is, I got that. And then I guess this would be sort of a, I guess maybe he's like the cousin. Of King Kong, I guess. Uh, Mighty Joe Young. Uh, this is also Robert Armstrong. This uh, Terry Moore and our young Ben Johnson is in this, and so uh, this one has a little bit more humor in it, I think. But it's a, a really, you know, actually a fun movie. I think that of the two, I think this one is the this one is more fun. Uh, anyway, the next movie I got is a sci-fi sci-fi uh, action movie starring uh, Sean Connery that I kind of had my eye on for a while and. You know, they had the sale, so I jumped all over it. And this is Sean Connery's uh, Out Outland. I think Peter Himes directed this. Yeah, Peter Himes, written and directed by Peter Himes. It's been a while since I've seen this, so I'm probably going to watch this again. But I remember liking it, so that's why I picked that up. Now, the next two movies are sequels to the original Maniac Cop, of course. I'm talking about uh, Maniac Cop 2, uh, of course. And then, of course, Maniac Cop 3. Now, um... Of the two, I guess two is the better movie, uh, and I think this one is actually uh, produced by, it was written by Larry Cohen, and he didn't direct it, but he produced it. And this one uh, is one of those movies that has the Alan Smithy, which means label on it, which means that somebody else directed it, and then they kind of disavowed their knowledge of this movie. So they, uh, but I remember seeing this on late night cable one time and really enjoying it, so. And plus, it's the Maniac Cop series, so I wanted to like kind of complete the collection. But I think I have Maniac Cop. Hold on. Yeah, right here. Uh, it's the first one. Yeah, Maniac Cop, the first one. So I got all all three of them that completes that collection there. Okay. Now the next movie is a movie that I actually saw the remake a few weeks ago with Nicole Kidman, uh, Chandler Edge of Four, and uh, Julia Roberts. So. I remember that people saying, well, this is a remake, of, but this is the original movie, Academy Award, what I think best foreign language film, The Secret in Our Eyes, so, which I really like the remake, so I want to see the original, because that's supposed to be better than the remake, so, I, you know, I saw that, couldn't, couldn't get, couldn't, you know, had to get this, so, The Secret in Our Eyes, look at my review of that, because I really want to see that, and see, compare it to the, and see, you know, the original movie, and now uh, this is another classic movie, uh, Back in the 30s, I think, too, and starring uh, Charles Lawton and a young Maureen O'Hara. Okay, and this Victor Hugo's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay, this has been remade a lot of times, but this is the original, I think. I think, or maybe the, was there another version with Lon Chaney, I think, excuse me? I think that was the original version. I think the one Lon Chaney Sr., I think he did Hunchback. I think, so that one I think is the original, and I think this is the remake. But anyway, Charles Lawton, who I love as an actor, so I want to see this. And it's the, like I said, first time on Blu ray. So I had to get this one. And I love the Hunchback of Notre Dame story. You know, it's just a such a great story. So I had to get that. And anyway, um, that's my uh, Blu-rays update for you know the end of this year. This is be the, the last update, obviously, because the new year starts on uh, Friday. So um, I want to say thank you, everybody, for watching my channel and this year and getting me through this <laughs> through uh, this year. It's been a good year for me, collecting wise. And, uh, you know, look forward to the future. And uh, also, I want to say, uh, look for, um, I'm going to do a, I, I've seen people pop it up with their best movies of 2015, so I'll do that. But I'm going to wait till Thursday to do that, 31st, because I'm going to see uh, The Hateful Eight, and which is Quentin Tarantino, and I've got a pretty sure that movie's going to be one of the best I've seen in 2015. Now, The Reverend, uh, the new Leonardo DiCaprio movie is not, it's in limited release, so but it's not anywhere near where I can go see it. So, uh, 
unfortunately, I think that would probably be on Monday because I'm looking forward to it. It comes out January 8th, otherwise, you know, wide release. So that won't probably won't make it in my course because that won't get officially released for a wide. So I have to wait for that. But uh, anyway, I'll do my top 10 list. Uh, then I'm going to probably have to work, go see, because uh, I get off work on the 31st. You know, it's half a day, so I'll probably go see the Tarantino Hateful Eight then and then come back and I'll film my top 10 of 2015. So look for that video. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, these titles. So what do you think of them? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Again, if you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Paul, excuse me, this is Trey Passer. I didn't even say my name. And this is Trey Passer saying so long and take care. And everybody have a happy and safe new year. Okay, until next time.